After an epic WrestleMania, find out what's next for the WSC superstars. Mr. Foley, I know the last time we spoke I blew you off. I didn't want to hear what you had to say. But what you said, it did get through to me. You were right. Your advice helped me in the Deadly Games. I almost had that match won. If it wasn't for that damn beast, I would be the hardcore champion. But I came here to apologize. My whole life, I've been a loner. My sole focus from eight years old was to be at the top of this industry. Nobody understood me. While everyone in school was partying, I was in the gym every day, working towards my goals, my vision for what my life could be. I was the only one that believed in me, in this dream. But now I see you believe in me. So I ask you, would you please teach me? Show me what I'm missing. Teach me how to be the next hardcore legend. Well, thank you, Austin. I knew you'd come around. I was very impressed with what you did in the Deadly Games. And I'd be very happy to help you. But just know that this journey we're about to embark on, it isn't going to be easy. I know you've got a great work ethic, but what I'll be teaching you, it's not as simple as lifting weights. For you to become the man you're meant to be, I'm gonna have to put you through challenges that will mentally and physically tear you down and rebuild you. Rebuild you into a man that fears nothing. That when the going gets tough, will keep fighting, and a man that is willing to go to the extreme lengths to win. Are you ready for that challenge? Always. Hey guys, this video is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid celebrating its fourth anniversary, which just happened last month, and they've asked me to invite four of my favorite champions to a celebratory dinner party. First guest being Coroner. This overgrown beast man is one of the strongest tank controllers. Then there's Kaioku. She is one of the best team defenders in all of Raid. Then we have Herndig. He's the kind of dwarf who revels in bringing a gun to a knife fight. And then to round out the party, we have Kalia, who is a workhorse attack champion who's great at burning things. I've been really impressed with its features, such as the hundreds of champions to collect, a super in-depth RPG battle system, amazing graphics, and intense PvE boss fights. Raid is going on an egg hunt right now. Download Raid using the links below, copy your in-game player ID, and then head over to egghunt.plarium.com from April 14th to May 15th. Scour the Dragon's Lair using your phone, and if you find the hidden egg, you'll be in for a chance to win amazing in-game items, and even real-life prizes, ranging from legendary Raid Champion to Amazon gift cards with a total value of 20,000. This event is for new players, but existing Raid players can join in on the excellent fun as well. Go to egghunt.plarium.com and you'll find a special promo code that everyone can use to earn a small gift in-game. If you haven't started playing Raid yet, what are you waiting for? Use the link in the description or scan my QR code to download the game and get insane bonuses, such as the epic champion Talia from the Sacred Order faction, among other useful things. Now, let's get back to the video. Usually I would ask you guys what do you want to talk about, but I think it's pretty clear. Let's talk about WrestleMania, where we put an end to the Tribal Chiefs Championship reign. Where we shook the foundation and changed the game in WSC. And I say we, because without all of you who believed in me, who followed me to the end, despite my failures, through all my highs and my lows, I wouldn't have been able to survive the deadly games without you, so thank you. Last year, I had the greatest opportunity of my life against CM Punk and Roman Reigns. And I came up short in one of the most humbling and humiliating experiences of my life. And from that moment, I vowed to make no excuses. Vowed to check my ego at the door and to simply do the work. Do everything in my power to live up to my word that at WrestleMania, I would win the Deadly Games. And now I stand here, the new WSC Hardcore Champion. I finished the story, the journey that I was on that moment at WrestleMania. But guys, the truth is, the story never ends. That was one chapter. Now it's time to write anew. 
And now it's time to give you a fighting champion. I won't shy away from a fight. I won't have anyone do my dirty work. This championship on my shoulder means I am the best in the world. But it's one thing to carry this around and call yourself the best. But it's another thing to actually do the work and prove it to the world by going toe to toe with the very best. Now I hear some of the chatter out there that people think I got lucky. Think that I was in the right place at the right time and that's the only reason I was able to win. Look, I get it. And I would love to go one-on-one -on -one with every superstar that was in the Deadly Games. Unfortunately, majority of them are out injured. But there is one man in particular that I know is not injured. One man that cleared almost the entire field. I'm calling him a man, but I think to be more accurate, he is a beast. Brock Lesnar. I'm challenging you for the WSC Hardcore Championship. I know Brock's on house arrest right now, but I know Nathan has some pull around here and he has the power to get Brock Lesnar back in the ring, face to face with me where he belongs. Come on, Curdy, you saw what he did. He assaulted police officers. Daddy stole a truck. He's lucky enough to be on house arrest. Listen to the people. They want it. I want it. I need to beat Brock Lesnar. If I can't, I don't deserve to hold this. Do what you need to do to make it happen. I mean, I mean, you heard the man, Nate. He wants them. Whoa! Wait a second. The best in the world is about to become face to face with the so-called best in WSC right now, Cody Rhodes. It's CM Punk! Oh, oh so, so Nate, Nate, you're, you're gonna, gonna hand a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, opportunity to a guy like Brock Lesnar, who's on house arrest rather than the guy that beat you at WrestleMania, that was screwed out of his championship, that had to wrestle twice in one night. I thought I'd beaten some sense into you, but clearly you're still an idiot. Hey, respect. You got in the ring and put up a hell of a fight. But I am the best in the world, and if anyone deserves a shot at the title, it's me! I can't really say that he's lying about that. I mean, he spoke straight, he spoke straight facts, Nate. Oh, Wait a minute. Oh my, we got company! Mr. Money in the Bank, the phenomenal AJ Styles as well? Is AJ gonna cash in? Punk, you wanna talk, talk about, about people, people getting, getting screwed, screwed over? over? You, you ruined, ruined my WrestleMania, WrestleMania moment. moment. I had, I had Roman, Roman dead, dead to, to rights, rights and, and you had, had to stick your nose in my business. business. Cody, Cody, you shouldn't worry about Punk or about Brock. Brock. The, the only, only man you should worry about is me. Because, because if, if I so choose, choose to come after your, your title, title, it'll, it'll become, become mine. Because, because you, you both think you have claims, claims to be the best in the world, but none of you are phenomenal. This is, this is amazing. I don't know who to side with here. AJ making it known anytime, any place he can cash in. Hey, hey I, said I said I'll take on all comers. comers. I, I want, want Brock Lesnar, but I'll settle for both of you right now. Cash that in and let's see what will happen. Come on. We're in for a triple threat already. Mr. Money in the Bank, the world champion, the best in the world, here in the middle of the Whoa. ring. But wait, CM Punk's not too big of a fan of that idea. That's pretty evident from his hot-headedness. Oh! And his head just gets struck with that briefcase. And here comes Cody with a vengeance, trying to stop a mud hole in CM Punk. But AJ from behind with the briefcase. And what a takedown from Punk. Things are breaking down. It's chaotic here. Tooth and nail with AJ Styles. The phenomenal, the best. Back and forth, these men are going. But wait a minute, watch Cody. Double Cody Cutter to both men. And they have no choice but to roll outside the ring. The world champion of WSC, the hardcore champion, reign supreme! Wait a minute, what? from behind! What? Lester. Wait, I thought this psycho was on house arrest! It's a criminal! Wait, what the it's hell a menace! Oh, oh my god! An F5! Oh man! Onto the top of the post, head first! Cody's busted wide open, and Brock Lester! Well, he just got Brock Lesnar, and it may not have been in the
the way he wanted. Hey guys, as much as I want to stand here and reminisce about how great WrestleMania was, there's something that's been weighing on me heavy for a while now. But after WrestleMania, it really got me thinking. As you can see, I have to use a crutch. That's because of my knee issue that I've dealt with my whole life, that I was born with. You may or may not know about it, but if you've seen any of my matches here in WSC, you'll know that people have made it a point to target it. People like of Owens, Punk are so scared of losing to me that they have to stoop that low in order to beat me. And to be honest, I just don't know if it's worth it anymore. You know, this whole journey started because I had a dream, I wanted to achieve things in the ring, I wanted to be a champion, I wanted to wrestle. I wanted to wrestle because I love it, and for a long time I didn't think it was possible because of my need, because of the limitations, but I wanted to prove to everyone that I could overcome that, that, that you all can overcome anything if you set your mind to it. You know, and that's what I tried to do, and I achieved it. I became a two-time WSC Hardcore Champion, but, but to be honest, I just, I don't know. I don't know if I can keep going. I don't know if I can overcome this. To keep getting beat to a pulp and not be able to walk the next day. I just don't know anymore, guys. I don't think I can go through it again. Which is why I'm here to tell you guys that I'm officially retiring from the ring. I want to thank you all for supporting me, for believing in me. I just want you to know how much I loved to perform in spring, perform in front of all of you guys. Just, I've had the time of my life. Thank you guys so much. Nah, man, nah. Thank you, Nate. It's been a hell of a ride, and you've given it your all. For all of these people watching right now, this is for the best, and I know it. As your friend, I know it's for the best. And Wait a second. The visionary, the revolutionary, Seth freaking Rollins making his way here? What could he possibly want? You know, I saw your match with CM Punk at WrestleMania. You almost had him beat. You think your knee is gonna hold you back, but you're a two-time hardcore champion, same as me. And you did it regardless of any knee issues. You've got potential, kid. With a little makeover and someone watching your back, nothing would stop you. You know, at WrestleMania, even though I didn't win the Hardcore Championship, I made Roman Reigns pay for what he did to me. I single-handedly ended the championship reign of Roman Reigns. But there's one thing that needs to be done. I need to make sure the Bloodline lose everything. And that somehow, the Usos survived WrestleMania, still the tag team champions. So how about this? Seth frickin' Rollins and Nathan Nate Dog, the stage creator, the man who created it all. How about we join forces? How about I teach you just what it means to be a superstar in this business? And let us become the Drip Gods. <laughs> what an offer from Seth freaking Rollins. What I'd do if I was made in the middle of that ring. But it seems like everyone around in this arena want this team up to become reality. What's it gonna be, Nate? You know what? I think I like the sound of that. I'm in. Let's do it, baby. <laughs> oh my god, we just witnessed the birth of the Drip Gods and Seth Rollins and stage creator, but it seems like the Usos and the Bloodline, wait a minute, what's behind you? Baby Uso, damn it! Sola Sokoa being the one to give the Usos the upper hand, the Bloodline don't take too kindly to being targeted by a couple of schmucks in their eyes. That Samoan spike laid waste to Nathan, and there's the 1D on top of the stomach and sternum of stage creator. One's in the air, people, because it seems to me 
that the Usos won't be giving up their titles without a fight. Seth Rollins and stage creator found out out just now the hard way.